Hello and welcome to the beautiful county of Dorset in southwestern England. Today we'll be doing a slow yet challenging flow and we'll be starting off in downward dog. So go ahead and make your way there and then begin to take three deep breaths, preparing your mind and body for movement. Maybe making the inhale a little bit longer than the exhale. After about your third breath here, next inhale, begin to rock forward into plank, and then continue a bit of a rocking motion in your plank. We're gradually going to be lifting the hips a little higher each time until we make this into a full spinal wave. So shifting from plank slightly back into downward dog, and then start to gently round the back forward, dip the spine backwards. Round forward, lift hips and head on the backward movement. Good, about one more. And after the next one, bring the knees down, send the hips up, walk the hands forward, puppy pose. Hips over the knees, melt that chest to the mat. Inhale from here, round forward into low plank. Then wiggle the feet in, little baby steps. Find dolphin pose, hips go high again. Make sure you're pressing into the mat, supporting yourself with the shoulders, melting the chest. Good, knees come down, sit back on top of the heels, and we'll move through the arms a bit more. Start with some big forward circles. Lifting up with the shoulder blades on that upward movement. and reach upwards. Exhale, bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, and add a little wiggle into the wrists. And press the fists down towards the feet, lift the chest. Inhale to find that expansiveness, stretch on the collarbone. Exhale, reach the arms up. Inhale to tabletop, take one more breath. And the next exhale, kick the right leg back. We're going to tap the toes behind the left foot and then over to the right. Keep it going. Try and isolate this movement in the hips. Try not to move that lower back. Squeezing the glute. Nice. Extend that leg back straight. We're going to lift up into three-legged dog. So lift that left knee off the mat. Make sure the hands are a good distance from the feet. And option here to add an open in the hips. Little bend in that right knee, keep the leg active. And on the next exhale, step forward to your runner's lunge. Inhale, left knee lowers, exhale. Next inhale, lift the arms. One cycle of breath. Next exhale, hands come down, back knee lifts. Inhale, reach up to your normal high lunge. Try and find that depth in the front leg. Take another deep inhale, try and open the chest further, and exhale, bend through the elbows. Cactus the arms. Good, hands come forward down to the mat. From here, we're going to step the left leg back. And take our flow. Knees come down. If you want to make it a little easier for the first one, make your way to the mat. Inhale, lift to cobra. It can be only a baby cobra if needed. If your back doesn't feel ready yet. Good. Lift the hips up. Find downward dog. All right. Let's take it to the other side. Roll forward. Send the hips back. Interlace the fingers behind your back and press down. Good, come forward tabletop. This time extend the left leg and begin to tap to the left and behind the right foot. 
Try and isolate the movement again in the glute, minimizing the use of the lower back. I like to try and link the breath to this movement, but it can be a little tricky. So give it a go only if you want to. One or two more. And then from here, extend that left leg straight, lift all the way up, three-legged dog. Go ahead and bend the knee. Open the hips. Make sure you're steady in the hands. And from here, set that left leg forward. Runner's lunge, right knee comes down, inhale, low lunge. Deep breath. Exhale, hands down. Next deep inhale, lift, high lunge. Take one more deep breath. And on the next exhale, bend the elbows, cactus the arms. Try and open the front of the chest. Exhale, bring those hands down in front of you. Then step the left leg back, take your flow. I may be lowering without the knees. Inhale, lift, cobra. And exhale, downward dog. Pause for a moment. Find some stillness. Take two deep breaths. Take this opportunity to check in and see how your body is feeling today. Good. When you're done with that, take a walk to the front of the mat. Find halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly round and lift up to mountain. Exhale, bring those palms to the chest. Find an open and strong posture. Then hands on the hips. Inhale to lift the left leg up and extend it out. Option here also to bend the knee. This is a little hard. Hold, hold, hold. And then tilt forward. See if you can keep that leg straight and off the floor as we get into our warrior three pose here. Good, reach the arms forward for a little extra challenge. And see if you can find a sturdy high lunge. Step that left leg back, cactus the arms again. And this time open and close. Inhale to open and exhale to close. You can add a little bit of spinal movement to this as well. And on the next open, come into a warrior two. Right knee over the right ankle, left heel down, hips facing left. Big exhale here. Then inhale, scoop the air up, left arm to left leg, a reverse warrior. Right knee still is fighting to face forward. Good, hands come down to the mat. Take one or two breaths. Make sure you feel supported. And then step it forward, find halfway lift again. Exhale to fold. Inhale, round all the way up. Connect those palms again at the chest. Take one or two refreshing inhales and exhales. And from here, hands on the hips. Inhale, extend the right leg forward. Really try and reach through the toes. Press down into the left foot. And maybe notice which side felt a little sturdier. Maybe it's this left side, maybe it's the right. Then continue to keep that right leg as straight as possible and tilt into your warrior three. It's okay to have a couple little stumbles, tap that back foot if needed, and then reach the arms overhead. Good, step the right foot back, try and find that sturdy lunge, and bend in the elbows, recactus the arms. Open and close, link your breath. Okay. 
add that kind of cat-cow movement into the back if you would like. Not in completely rounding, but try and open the chest, especially when the cactus arms are open. Good, next open, come into warrior two. Left knee faces forward, right heel down. Long exhale. And next inhale, scoop the air up, right hand to right leg, left arm reaches. See if you can find a little stretch in the side here. Nice job, bring those hands back down, take a breath, make sure you feel sturdy, and step right back up to your halfway lift. Exhale to fold, and inhale halfway. This time, exhale, hands down, step all the way back to plank. And lower, maybe with the knees down, make your way onto the mat. Start with those wrists a little further backward, elbows up, and peel into a baby cobra. From here, we're going to use the back muscles to help place one hand on top of the other. Then bring that right hand to the side, come up onto the fingertips, slide the right knee up, and then replace the hands, rest the chin onto the hands. Super gentle half frog, gentle hip opener. Start to really lengthen the exhales. So the exhales should be double as long as the inhales. This is too uncomfortable. Then bend the knee lower the leg or slightly shift more onto the left leg. Either way, find a place that's comfortable and enjoyable and close the eyes. From here, extend the left arm and add a cactus into the right arm, lift it off, move the right knee up a little more, and we're going to add a reverse spinal twist. It's okay if that right shoulder floats here, this is intense. Good, bring it back to the middle, we're going to swap which hand is on top of the other. From here, left fingertips touch the mat, left knee slides up, replace the hands one over the other, and chin rests down again, stretching on the other side. Deep breaths. And from here, right arm reaches out in front. Left arm bends and opens towards the left. Left knee comes up a little higher, sliding more on to that right leg now. Again, it's okay if that left shoulder does not meet the ground. See if you can find that stretch in the mid-back. Good, come back to the middle. Hands next to the chest, forehead kisses the mat. And from here, press all the way up and back onto the heels. Take a seat and we'll finish there. Thank you so much for joining me in this beautiful location and I hope you are feeling much more refreshed. See you next time.